piece of science fiction. Well, hello, and this is episode four of She-Hulk. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late with this. I've been rather busy. Uh, I've been out most of the weekend, so it's uh, finally got time to watch it just now. So I have to say I did quite enjoy this episode. Uh, we're getting into the day in life. Uh, look, I know people are... I know it's been panned quite a lot, Shale, but for some reason, maybe it's because I read the comics back in the 80s, you know, the John Byrne ones. It's, I've got a bit, you know, I like Shale, I used to like the fourth wall thing where she's talking to you. And I suppose watching this series, it, it reminds me a bit of them comics, you know. Uh, she, she, I found her quite sassy and sexy in this, which I quite liked about her character. Uh, the thing with Wong, uh, you get a cheesy musician, Donny Blaze. Obviously, you know, Johnny Blaze. But we've got Donny Blaze who got kicked out of Karma Times because of a bit of a sleaze ball. And he he must have cleared off with one of the ring zinger things, you know, opens portals. And he starts doing cheesy magic tricks and he's got this, like, assistant that keeps telling him how amazing and marvellous he is and nobody's impressed. And... He, he gets this lady up and she's a bit scatty and uh, she's just in her own world. <laughs> and he sends her off to another dimension and things happen and everybody's like... <coughs> it gets out and then Wong turns up in She-Hulk's office and he wants to ban the Mystic Shout-Outs and copyright it, but it all comes out. It's all rather confusing. And well, can you sort of copyright magic and cease and desist orders and all this. And it goes to court and Donnie Blaze sort of wins and he ends up, she's called Mayandi or Mindy or something and she's got this right funny name and uh, she's back in his audience because the judge has allowed him to carry on with his tricks and uh, she hope goes on, is it Tinder or something and she goes on as Jen and she meets a few boring people and it's quite drab, a whole dating thing. And uh, then she goes on as She-Hulk and she gets loads of replies and she meets several people. One guy calls her a specimen. She's not happy about that. And she gets this guy, she takes him back to her house and, you know, they're going to get down to it. And Wong appears and says, look, you know, these demon things have come from another dimension. Because Donny Blaze ain't got a clue what he's doing when he's opening these portals. And she ult takes part and uh, a big punch up. And it is quite funny. Uh, you know, I mean, there is some sort of funny moments in this. And there is some sort of nice humour. I mean, it had me laughing. I quite I really did enjoy this episode. And uh, you do sort of feel for her because, like, as Jen, she's quite... How do you say? She, everybody seems to have been quite... I don't want to say normal. It, it, it just she's not. People don't like that. Like this guy who she dated uh, said, "Oh, she was a six, which really it's a bit unfair because she is lovely. And uh, but it, it's like this tricky man feel for her. But when she comes she up, they're all wanting to date her, and she gets this guy she takes him back. But next morning she changes back into Jen, and he don't want to know. He just glares off. And you know, I do sort of feel for her really. But then we then then she gets a a, a card a court order and Titania uh, copyrighted the name She Hulk and uh, going to take it a court, which I think is quite funny. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing Titania. So obviously we're getting into it next week. There was a mention at Wrecking Crew. No doubt they're going to be back. But all in all, this wasn't a bad little episode. It, I found it funny, uh, but like I said, maybe this because I've read a lot of Shield comics over the years. And I will say the CGI is, I don't know, it just seems odd looking. I think they've got the size right of her and that, but I, I think I'm getting used to it. it I don't know, it, it seems a bit animated. You know, whereas like you've got Bruce, he looks really, as the Hulk, he looks really good. I, but maybe this is intentional, make her a bit more comic -y looking. I don't know, I, I thought they could, the CGI, just make it a bit, I don't know, I, make it more like Hulk, sort of, you know. But maybe it's getting used to it, I don't know. So, this is my review of Shea Hulk. Uh, all in all, a, 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 friend of, a friend of mine said he just will not watch this. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, and and I know there's been a lot of panning with it, but you know, I I, I just say it for fun it is. I'm quite enjoying it. I like the I, I like the uh, little like the everyday life of the MCU yeah, with people and interacting with like the you know the super powered beans and all the rest of them. You know, and even they have problems. You know what I mean? So obviously Daredevil's going to be coming into it quite soon. Which I'm looking forward to. I thought he might. I thought Matt Murdock would have appeared by now. I wonder if she's going to start dating him in this. Actually, that might. I could see that happening. You know, like Jen and Matt Murdock. You know, it could be interesting. You know. So anyway, I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, well, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I enjoyed it anyway. You know, just simple hum humour and it was good fun and that's it. So please give this video a like, please subscribe, let me know your thoughts and I will see you on the next video.